Hello and welcome. This is Caroline from Morales and today we are going to be doing a quick comparison between authentication with Firebase and authentication with Morales and hopefully you'll see exactly how easy it is to authenticate with Morales and how similar it is to working with Web2. So first things first, I've actually started with Create React app. I've just created a very simple app. Um, if you don't know how to do that, um, you just do npx, create React app, and then the name that you want to call your application. So I called mine Firebase Morales Auth. But obviously I've already created it, so I'm not going to press enter here. Um, and after that, we need to install Firebase itself. So I'm using Yarn as my package manager. So I would do Yarn add Firebase. But if you're using npm, it'd be npm install Firebase, of course. So after we've installed Firebase, we can start to look at the website here. So if we press get started, log in with whichever account we would like to. And here we go, we can create our first project. So if we go to create a project, enter the name, which apparently already exists. So we'll go for Firebase Auth 2. Um, we do not need Google Analytics for this project unless you want to add it to a very tiny project, but I'll assume no. And then we wait until it has created. So after your project has been created, you'll end up landing on this nice project overview here. Then we can go straight into the project settings. And here we need to set up the fact that we have a web app. So we can press here for the web. And then we'll call it Firebase Auth. We don't need to set up hosting, so just register that there. Again, we've already installed Firebase, so we're one step ahead. But now we have the configuration to set up. So we're just going to copy all of this, go into our React application. I've created a file called firebaseconfig.js just in the source folder. And we're going to paste that in here. We can then remove this comment as it's not super important. And then we also need to import another couple of functions from Firebase forward slash auth. So they are get auth and Google auth provider. And that's from Firebase forward slash auth. And then we're going to use those in two variables that we need to export so we can use them in our next file. So if we start with export, the first one is going to be called provider and that is a new Google Auth provider and that's a function. And so then we're going to export the next one, which is auth and we're using the get auth function that we have imported and we're passing in app there. So that's our Firebase config. It's quite simple to do, but as you can see, it's quite a lot of code just to set up a simple authentication. Um, and as you will see later, Morales is actually a bit simpler in this way. So moving to web from web two to web three could actually be a simpler move than you think. So as you can see, I've created a small template just to make it easy to see when someone has logged in and authenticated with Firebase and then also with Morales. Um, and most of it is actually styling, so we're just going to paste that in as it's not really important to the authentication. But we also do need to import a couple of Firebase functions as well. So the first one is sign in with pop-up and that is from Firebase forward slash auth. And the second is import auth and provider from our other file which I have named Firebase config. So that's the things that we need to import to do with Firebase. And then after that, we need to create a React component. I don't know if everybody has this, but I have installed the React extension on VS Code and it's very useful for creating Arrow components um, very fast. So here we go, we've got this already. So the first thing we're going to do is create the sign in function. And we're just going to put it above the return here. So I've just pasted it in here and that is an arrow function called sign in. And then we use the function we've imported from Firebase forward slash auth, which is sign in with pop up. And we pass auth and provider into here from the config file that we just worked on. So again, this is kind of just set up. 
This allows us to sign in via the pop-up, which has the, the option to sign in via Google. It returns a promise, so we do dot then. We get the result, and then we set the user with the result dot user into here. So then user will contain the user. A bit confusing, but there we go. Um, and then obviously if there's any error, we have dot catch error, and we can console log the error there. So then if there is no user logged in, as we can see here, it doesn't have a user yet. Then we want to return just this little part here. Again, this looks super complicated, but actually it's just styling. So I'm just going to minimize that here. All we need to care about is the on click. And so here we have the on click and we have a callback to the sign in function above here. So this is where it all links together. Then if there is a user, we have another return here. And as we can see here, if we get rid of all this complicated styling, then we get a little message displayed with the user's display name, the user's email, and I just put a little logo here as well. So now that we've set up the configuration, we've set up the code, there's one last thing that we have to do to make sure that Google login authentication will work with Firebase. So we're going to go into the kind of homepage area of our app. We're going to press authentication and then we're going to go to sign in method here and we're going to go for Google. And all you have to do is press enable here. It doesn't really matter what we put here. And I'm going to choose my email for a project support email. You don't have to bother about these things and just press save. So now is our time to shine. We're going to test it out. And here we are, it pops up, you choose whichever email you want to log in with, and there we go. It's my name and my email. So that shows that we have successfully logged in. And now we are going to try the same kind of thing, but using Morales to sign in via MetaMask. So now we are moving on to working with Morales authentication, which is the fun part, of course. And we're going to start by installing Morales. So if you go to GitHub, go to Morales Web3 and go to the React Morales repository, then you scroll down, there's a nice little readme here. And the quick start guide is very helpful. So I'm using Yarn, so I'm going to copy this here and install using Yarn. And while that's happening, we can scroll down a little bit more and see that we need to put a provider around the application. So if we go into index.js, in source here, we can copy the morales provider and of course the closing tag, very lazy of me. And then we realize that we have to have an app ID and a server URL passed in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to admin.morales.io forward slash login. And of course, if you don't have an account already, you can sign up here. I already have an account, so I'm going to log in using this one here and tell them that I'm not a robot. And then we're going to see that I actually already have a server up and running here for this project. But if you need to create a new server, we can go through that as well. So go for a testnet server, then you can name it whatever you want to, and then select the region that's closest to you, select what network you want is already on testnet and then whichever test that you want to go for. So I've gone for Rubston in my other one. And then you just continue on with that. But like I said, I've already got my server here. So we're going to go to view details once your server is up and running. And then you can get the server URL, just paste it in here. And the application ID, which you paste there. And just neaten it up. And there we have it. The Morales provider is in place. And don't forget, as I almost did there, that we need to import the Morales provider in order for it to work. So import the Morales provider from React Morales package, and then everything will work perfectly. So then again, I have set up a file called MoralesAuth.js just in the source folder alongside the other two files that we created. And to start with, I'm just going to import React and some styling stuff, which isn't super important. So just going to import these here. 
And then we need to import use Morales. So we're going to do import use Morales from React Morales. Then we're going to actually create our component. So it's an arrow function, again, using the shortcut there. And to start with, we're just going to use Morales at the top here. So we're going to write authenticate and is authenticated and user. And we're going to bring these in from use Morales. So that's all of the setup there. Just a quick side note here as well is that sometimes when you do the RAFCE shortcut to create a arrow function component in React, it can import React as well here. So there's a double import here and that would cause everything not to work. So that's something to look out for. And so we're going to remove that and make sure it doesn't get in the way of everything working perfectly. Then after that, we're literally just going to check if the user is not authenticated. Again, we just want to return this lovely little thing here. So in the return here, we're just going to paste this down, hide all this lovely styling. And it's literally just a button on a blank canvas here saying sign in with MetaMask. And again, the important part here is the on click is just a callback calling authenticate and authenticate is just brought in from Morales here above. So it's super simple. It's literally one line of code to authenticate a user into a decentralized application via MetaMask. So this is super, super simple. And then we're going to add the second return. So if the user is authenticated, we will see something slightly different. We just tidy that up and then we are going to test out if this works. I'll just again hide this uh, styling so it's not confusing but we've just we're just keeping the button there and we're going to show some text which says welcome and then uses the account address which we can get from the user object that we get from authenticating. So we've got user.get and we're going to be returned the user's account address, depending on what account they're logged into at this time in MetaMask. So now is the moment of truth. We're going to see whether our beautiful code will work properly with Morales. So we're going to press the sign in with MetaMask button. And as we can see, MetaMask pops up here. This is assuming that you've got the Chrome extension here installed. And you can press sign for the authentication and then literally instantly we get our little welcome message and we get our account address, which is the account that you're currently logged in to in MetaMask. And as you can see, if we compare the Web2 authentication via Firebase and the Web3 authentication via Morales, it's actually less set up and less complicated to use Morales to sign in via MetaMask. And that's probably something lots of people didn't expect as I know there's a bit of a barrier to entry, people think that Web3 is complicated or confusing, but I hope this is proven here that doing things such as authenticating can be super simple so long as you're using Morales.